Hey, hey, what's going on, everyone? Just want to give you a quick update, maybe five, six, seven minutes, something like that, about uh, what maybe what stage you're at right now after the first day. And then uh, just a little mini lesson on something I don't want to say. I want to know if uh, anybody in class knows what I'm trying to get at. Okay, just a couple minutes. But let's take a look at uh, what my essay is starting to look like. I spent maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes or so on this. So this first paragraph here, I already had. Um, I had a little bit of this second one already. I broke this off from the first paragraph. And then um, I don't I don't think I've touched this at all. So after my first read through, I made just some notes for myself. I put them at the end of the whole essay, things that I might want to keep in mind. Okay. And the first one was to add more sensory details. We talked about that yesterday, the five senses. We've also called it imagery in this class. If you can somehow get those in there when appropriate, you know, you don't want to talk about, I don't know, I'm talking about my driver's license. It, you wouldn't taste the road. That's it's just dumb. But maybe the man who, um, gave me my test. I remember him sort of, I probably will embellish, you know, I could talk about maybe the, the way he smells or something like that. Or maybe the way I smell after being so nervous, something like that. So smell a uh, taste would be amazing. I don't think I can, I don't think I can put taste in there realistically. I mean, taste the salty sweat as it drips from my forehead. I mean, probably not, but if I can work in some sensory details, that's a bonus, I think. So I want to talk more about failing the first time, how I felt uh, after that, talk about why I didn't need my license, talk more about the feeling I had when I passed, add some figurative language, maybe some dialogue. There was one teacher, uh, Mr. Jurowitz, you probably know him. Um, he like required dialogue, which is not a bad thing. But um, I think instead of requiring dialogue, we'll do like maybe a mini lesson on how to punctuate dialogue tomorrow. It's it's not that easy. It involves quotation marks and putting the commas in the right place. And you could probably have three different ways to punctuate it. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Different uh, mini lesson today. All right, so speaking of that mini lesson, let's do that. Um, these two things right here. I'm wondering, we have this. The dog's bowl is in the kitchen. The dog's bowl is in the kitchen. Slightly different sentences there. I'm wondering, does anybody know what that means? All right. Just in case nobody answered or as a review. So that first sentence, one dog owns that bowl. It's an apostrophe S. And the second sentence, two or more dogs own that bowl. So one thing I've noticed, you know, over the years of teaching, this is not just this year, uh, punctuation when it comes to possession doesn't happen all that often. So if somebody owns something, you need to have an apostrophe S. If it's one person, if it's a group of people, you would need an S apostrophe. Like I'm going to the doctor's office today. Doctors gets an apostrophe S. It's just probably one doctor there. Um, your driver's license, driver's, apostrophe S. Mother's Day, apostrophe S. It is an apostrophe S. Even though a lot of mothers are celebrating that day or Father's Day, it is an apostrophe S. Yeah, I had to look that up a couple of years ago or something. I'm like, but it's a bunch of mothers. So it's just, I guess it's just one, Mother's Day. So if anybody has any questions about that, just try. I, I've noticed that a lot of people aren't putting in those apostrophe S's. It's a common thing with uh, middle school. Don't worry about it. Try to get it in. If I see it as I'm um, going over your rough drafts, I'll mention it. All right. What else is here? Let me make this a little bigger. This is what I've added, not in the blue. This is what I've added in the middle here. Um, I don't. I think I've already had. I couldn't just drive somewhere if I wanted to. Yeah, I think um, this is new for me. 
Yeah, actually, this is new right here. All this. So uh, it's definitely a rough draft. And I like doing that. I like just getting something down on paper or digitally here on Google form doc, Google doc. I like getting something down and then go back over it. It's just, you don't have to like think of everything at once, get something down on paper, whatever. And then you can go back over it. So this is just a first draft. As I'm reading this to you, I'm, I might find some mistakes. I don't know. Sure. I was totally dependent on them. I couldn't just drive somewhere if I wanted to, but I sacrificed that freedom for the comfort of knowing I wouldn't be the first of my friends to fail for a second time and have to take the test a third time. So I would like to talk about that a little bit. And I did read this over before I read it to you. Uh, but this is an extremely long sentence. So it's not a run on. It is punctuated correctly. But I just think it's a little bit too long for a reader. So I will be trying to uh, make this two sentences, I guess, maybe even three. But I do like this right here. I did add a little onomatopoeia. I have three words that start with F kind of close together. First of my friends to fail. So I don't know, a little bit of poetry there. And then this is sort of close. Take the test a third time. I do have third there also starts with T, but it's a soft T. I do have take test time third. It's just a little bit. Um, it's not really can't really count that, but I have put in a little bit of uh, alliteration when you can do that. It's just something, you know, kind of cool for the reader when they read it. They might pick up on that that beat. Take it for a third time. All right. The rest of this, let me highlight it. I don't know. Yeah. So none of my friends that I know of had to uh, take it for a third time. So I thought there was a lot riding on it. Just like, I'm not sure if you've ever heard it about like divorce, you know, um, I've never been divorced. I've been with my wife, um, I don't know, 24 years, something like that. Um, but I know a lot of people are worried, like you get divorced once, whatever. But if you get married three times, you know, some people think like, oh, that's too much. So the second marriage needs to be really good. Same with my uh, driving test. Like I did not want to have to take that thing for a third time. A lot of my friends failed the first time, whatever. All right. I had to, I had to say it quickly, but I think this was a pretty funny story. And I, I don't know if I have enough detail. I mean, this is about my rite of passage, but... If you look in the blue there, thankfully, it wasn't as bad as my other friend, Brian. And notice because, I mean, we could talk about this. This is called an appositive. You don't need to know what this is called. But since friend and Brian are the same person, and I'm just renaming it, you need to put a comma in between. So like my mother, comma, and then you say her name, Martha, my dog, Fido. So since dog and Fido are the same thing, you separate that by a comma. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but it is, it's called an appositive. So thankfully it wasn't as bad as my other friend, Brian. Two of my friends actually followed him during his test, causing him added stress and likely the reason he failed. They rode his bumper the whole time. So that, that is a true story. Uh, my friend, Brian, my other two friends, um, just made his life miserable. He had to take his test. They knew when he was taking his test. And so once he pulled out of the parking lot of the DMV, they were right there. Just, I can't imagine. But some of my friends were mean like that. And like he literally failed probably because of them. So um, hopefully uh, you like this. It's been fun for me to revisit some of this stuff. This is not perfect. I still need two more solid paragraphs. And then I need to do a whole lot of rewriting. So today, feel free, like maybe it'll be for a third time or fourth time, but look over your writing. See if you can improve it anywhere. If it's a little wordy like mine, you know, I have that really big, long sentence. Can you like sure it up a little bit? Like try to get rid of some words so you're not wasting the reader's time. All right, enough for today. Rest of the time, feel free to work on your paragraph, anything you need to get done for quarter one or two. 
And then we'll get into a little Frank and Beans a little bit later.